super easy fit in 10. I'm doing a little series on band workouts that you can do in a hotel room at your office or at home. So my son and I ended up traveling for a few days to go to a friend's wedding. So I brought my bands. So I'm going to take you through a little 10 minute quick workout that you can do in your hotel room anywhere, anytime. All right. So today we're going to work a little bit on shoulders, shoulders and a little bit of leg. All right. I'm using my band and I'm going to do a one arm shoulder press. So I'm going to step my left foot right about the middle of the band, bring that band right in front of my arm and do a shoulder press. And my hand is going to disappear out of the top view. Oh well. So my elbow is directly underneath my wrist. I'm gonna do three more. That's two. And then I'm gonna switch sides. So I'm working out barefoot. You of course can put your shoes on whatever you're most comfortable with. I do like to work out barefoot whenever possible because it makes my feet do their job of gripping the floor, helps strengthen my ankles, and actually it just feels better. I'm gonna get two more right here. Okay, cool, so that's our shoulder press. Next, we're gonna step on our band. Now this part does not feel so great without shoes. I'm gonna crisscross the handles, bring my hands right up to my hips, bend my knees, and do a side step. And we call these monster walks. And we are doing 10 sets. Right, left equals one set. So 20 total or 10 sets. Two more. 10, 10, I think. All right, next I'm gonna take it into an upright row. So I'm gonna keep the bands right where I got them and then pull up. Now this move sometimes does not feel so great on shoulders. If that's the case for you, what I want you to do instead is just a side arm raise. And I will show that in a sec. But if this feels okay, go for it. If it feels like too much tension, put one foot on the center of the band. One more here. Okay, I hope that was time. All right, I'm gonna hold the band right in the same spot. And this time I'm gonna do a step and I'm gonna pull the leg back, back. So this takes a lot of balance. It's a little awkward, but you're getting some different glute work. Keep that leg straight, squeeze your butt, and press back through your heel. Last two, 10, 10. All right, cool. Now, I'm gonna take that band and once again, I'm gonna put my right foot right about the middle. And this time I'm gonna step, that was my left foot, step my right foot through, bring the band behind my head and do a tricep. And my free arm, I'm wrapping around my rib cage. It's just something I do. You can hold it at your side, put it on your head, wherever it's most comfortable. And you should feel some work in the back of your arm. Let's pretend that was 10. Switch other side. One of these days, I'm gonna learn how to count and talk at the same time. After 23 years in fitness, you would have thought I would have had that figured out, but nope. That is a skill still yet to master or more. And then when I start to count, I always start with six. Like, oh, I've done six. And then that would mean I have four more, but then I always end up doing an extra like I just did. Okay, so we're gonna finish off our arm workout with a little bicep. So one foot or both feet on the band, chest up and bring it up. And if I'm gonna be honest, I have to put both feet on the band. Ah, there we go. Now I feel some actual work. Chest up, shoulders down. And I'm gonna do four more, I think because that sounds like a good idea. All right, cool. All right, let's do that again. I'm gonna put my left foot on the middle of the band, step my right foot back, because I'm doing shoulders, 
and the band is in front of my arm on the shoulder press. Now, the cool thing about the shoulder press is that you can make it tougher by adding more resistance by just stepping your foot further into the band, giving yourself a longer tail. to the other side. My right foot's gonna go hopefully about the same spot and shoulder press. And you wanna feel that your arm almost is up against a wall and you're sliding your whole forearm up and down that wall and your elbow and wrist would stay touching the wall. So the reason why this is important is sometimes we let the elbow float back and we want the elbow right under the wrist. Do 10, crisscross, hands up at your hips and side to side. Monster walk. Knees are slightly bent, so I'm in that half squat position. My toes are a little turned in, but I gotta think about my knees pushing out. A lot going on. Two more. 10. All right, I'm gonna take it into that upright row. Now, upright row, and I can feel, oh, I've got too much tension on that right side, so I'm gonna loosen up on the right. There we go. Now, keep going, guys. If this doesn't work for you, just give me a sidearm raise, not with the band. So drop your band for a sec, and just lift and lower your arms. You're getting range of motion, totally cool. Last two. All right, I'm gonna step my feet a little further up, give myself a little more tension. And now, that little step and then pushing the leg back. I'm gonna pivot around a little bit so I've got a little more room for my leg to push back. Take it into triceps, so left foot's gonna go right about the middle of the band, right foot's gonna step forward, and that way that band is gonna go down my back. And this time I'm making sure my elbow stays stacked right over my shoulder. Two more, feeling a little burn in the back of the arm. Okay, let's flip it to the other side. Now, the other cool thing about working with resistance bands, not only are they easy to pack in a suitcase, easy to take to work, notice I keep saying work. So, doing little mini workouts throughout our day at work raises our metabolism, increases strength, burns calories, helps get our steps in. Nine and 10, let's hit our biceps. All that stuff is super important. And I keep saying this, but I like being a broken record. You know, every little bit counts. Every little workout counts. Makes a huge difference on our health. Helps lower our blood sugar. So if you have type two diabetes, doing little mini workouts throughout your day really helps. It really can reverse things. One more here. All right, what do you say, one more round? Sure, Sue, I'd love to. Okay, great. Left foot's gonna go right about the middle of the band. Right foot's gonna step back, I'm in that staggered stance. I'm gonna press up and down. So, help lower blood sugars, help lower blood pressure, help lower your triglyceride levels, all that good stuff. Because all of those things lead to kind of this thing we call metabolic condition. And it's basically when your metabolism isn't working, your metabolism is shutting down. Two more here, one more time. Okay, switch. So there's a lot of reasons why I'm a big proponent of these little 10 minute workouts. I call them fit breaks. Number one, they're short, quick, they're supposed to be easy, supposed to be simple, 
so that you feel totally comfortable doing them. Doing these little workouts, again, raises your heart rate, increases circulation, oxygen, blood flow to the brain, good stuff. All right, our crab walk. All of those things are super important. The reason why they are so important, we want to prevent side steps, side to side. We want to prevent what we call metabolic condition. And metabolic condition is when we've got three or more of those kind of nasty, nasty little conditions going on, type two diabetes, high blood pressure, high triglycerides, and then high body fat. Nine, 10, 10. All right, into that upright row. And remember, sidearm raise, no weights, just get that movement, or your high pull. All right, so metabolic condition is basically your metabolism is shutting down. So you might have noticed that over the past couple years, you're eating the same amount of food. Let's get two more there. One more. Okay. Now I'm going to take it into that push back. Leg pushes back. So you're eating the same amount of food and you're moving maybe the same that you always have, but now you've got this kind of spare tire right around your belly. What's that about? Ugh. So what happens as we get older is our metabolisms start shutting down. And the less we move, the slower our metabolism gets. I'm gonna do two more. I have no idea if that's right. One more time, 10, 10. I'm gonna take it into triceps. Left foot right on the middle. Right foot's gonna step forward. Band goes behind my head. Now I'm gonna do that overhead press. So when we do these short little mini workouts, it raises our metabolism. So you're training your metabolism to work again. Yay! So an efficient metabolism means that when you eat, that food gets used for energy. When our metabolism is slow, and this is a very simplified <laughs> explanation, let's switch to the other side. When our metabolism slows down, and there's a lot of reasons why that happens, When we eat, our body goes, oh, I'm gonna store that for later. I'm gonna wait to use that food because I don't know what's going on, okay? Five more here. So when we store food for later, that's body fat. That's how we're putting on body fat because you wanna think of body fat as just stored energy. So if you have a little extra body fat, you can just tell yourself, I have a lot of stored energy ready to go. All right, elbows in, chest up, and go. When we do these short, quick workouts throughout the day, we're training our metabolism to work, to use the food we put into our bodies for energy right away and not store it for later, because our bodies like to do that. Let's get two more. I hope that was 10. Last one. All right, we did it, nice job. A little fit break that you can do at the office, at home, when you're traveling with these awesome resistance bands. All right, I'm Sue from Easy Fit in 10. Like and subscribe to Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and come join me with some fit breaks. All right, have a great day and I'll see you next time.